Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my vlog. Um, if you're new here, I typically start my channel out with looking like a homeless person. Um, but today, this morning, I wanted to show you guys something I've been doing for my skin, my acne and stuff. I definitely deal with adult acne. I've tried many, many, many products over the years and nothing really seemed to work until now. But I finally found something that's been really working for me and I wanted to share about it even though I'm not like sponsored or I'm not like a personally selling this product even though it is from a network marketing company. So I want to go ahead and show you guys. This is the New Skin Clear Action Acne Medication. So it's this stuff. This is the face wash and then I have, after you wash your face with this, you use the toner. I usually use like three pumps of this on a like cotton pad. Wipe it all over my face really good. Um, and then next is the two different like gels. So typically both of these would look the same as this one right here. But they said something about being out of the night treatment and so they've been sending uh, like what they consider to be a decent replacement for that. And so this one is for the morning and then this one for evening and after it Usually after the morning or evening, depending on how I feel like my face is, because it can dry your face out, depending on your skin type. Mine seems fine right now, but I suspect in the winter it might dry my face out more. And so I don't know why my throat is so froggy today. But, and then after that I just go in with one of my other moisturizers that I have. Because, again, like I said, it can be very drying. So, but it just, it works really well. It just pulls out all those gunk and stuff to build up in your face. I find that a lot of clients there just don't do that without being really harsh on your face. So I wanted to share that because I've been struggling with skin for a long time and it's been really nice to feel like my skin's finally clearing up. I'm like crossing my fingers that it stays this way. So I've tried stuff in the past where it clears up and then it like just doesn't work anymore. I don't know. So if you have any suggestive tips for that, I would really appreciate it. Yeah, I wanted to show you guys my face before I get showered and end up putting makeup on because then it's pointless to show you your with makeup on, so. I'm doing the same one. This are you side? guys, are you all playing Paw Patrol? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this is playing on the TV and this is playing on Daddy's Switch. I see that. No, I'm not on Daddy's Switch. That one's Mommy's Switch. Who knows if I'll get demonetized for that? I hope not. Um, I know there's a lot of rules about Nintendo and games and stuff, but my kids really love playing Nintendo Switch. It's a little treat in the afternoon. They've been loving Paw Patrol and Minecraft and Animal Crossing. So, kind of a fun little thing that they can do together. And yeah. Um, I mean, I wanted to talk about this because I. Anyways, I wanted to talk about this because I have not been drinking enough water at all lately. Um, I feel like ever since I had COVID, like during COVID, I was drinking lots and lots of water because I knew it was important. And, um, you know, when you're coughing, it's feels good to drink water and kind of coat your throat a little bit. But I don't know, the last few days, I've just been feeling really just dehydrated and kind of bloated and stuff. So trying to challenge myself to drink like three of these a day. So I have this cup. This is 40 ounces, so I'm going to aim to drink three of these. So 40 times three is 120. Um, but yeah, I think that would just be a really good start. So now 11 o'clock and I just filled this up. So I'm going to try to drink it. But yeah, other than that today, I don't really know what if I'm doing anything exciting. Just normal mom stuff. We're still waiting on the kids. Hey guys, be quiet please. We were supposed to get the kids school on Friday. Their new school work was supposed to come in the mail on Friday. But it's now Monday and it still hasn't showed up and the tracking hasn't updated or anything. So I'm a little bit bummed about that because I was looking forward to actually starting their homeschool routine today. So I'm just going to kind of take today as a day to get some more stuff done around the house so that it will feel good when I start to not be overwhelmed with other stuff that's going on around here. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do and maybe meal plan because I'm 
running out of meal plans from last week. <sighs> yeah, I just have a lot on my list that I wanna do. I really wanna clean my car out and it needs an oil change. That's a whole nother issue. But yeah, it needs an oil change and I've been avoiding going to get it done because we had a credit card fraud and typically we do any like car stuff, like gas or oil change and stuff on our credit card, but we had a fraud and we've been waiting for the card, the new card to come in the mail and they haven't come yet. So I kind of just have been avoiding driving very much lately. Yeah, anyways, I feel like I'm rambling on about my personal stuff now. <laughs> but I think I'll tackle all these few dishes. That'll make me feel good to have a nice clean kitchen. So let's do that. Okay, well not so much for that idea. The water is not on right now. Um, the landlord never told me that that was happening. So I guess we're out of water, so. At least I have a real excuse not to do the dishes. Okay, so since the water is off and I can't do anything about dishes or laundry, decided I'm gonna swap out my purses. I got this new to me purse. I found it at a thrift store for like five bucks. So, just a, it's just an older Target brand, Donut Company, I don't know. But I really like the, uh, I think they're called Thaddle Back purses. I don't remember what they're called, but kind of a, Similar style to what I had before, right here. But see, it's a similar like crossbody strap, and this is very similar, but this is smaller. And I, this isn't like huge, but I've been wanting something just a little bit smaller and more compact, easy to throw on and go. I don't like heavy purses. I don't know. I like purses that just have the bare necessities and maybe a little spot to throw my camera in. Anyway, since we're doing that, I thought maybe I'd show you what I do keep in my purse if you're at all or even slightly interested in that. See? I did already have something in here. A little pouch, but I'm not sure what I would use this for. I'll leave that out for now. I think I'll probably use this for my phone. Or maybe my keys. I don't know. My keys. I have a Mac that severely needs to be washed. Hand sanitizer. I also keep my perfume in here, and I really love this perfume, but I never wear it because it's in my purse, and I always forget to put it on. So I'm thinking I should put it like by my skincare stuff. So maybe I'll remember to put it on in the morning. Close your eyes. Here we go. Anyway, it. I also keep my checkbook in my purse and my hearing aid battery because I have hearing aids, so I need to do that. And then. What's in your purse? Yeah. Gotta do something other than dishes, I guess. I figured. Lots of other ladies like to see what's in other people's purses. I don't know what it is, but it is. So, that's about it. I do have gum here, but I was just putting it in my purse to transport it to my car where I keep it in my car, but I keep forgetting to do that. So, maybe I'll do that now. But, super exciting. I really don't keep a lot in my purse. I'm only concerned that this purse might be a little bit small and not being able to fit my G7X camera in here, but I'll give it a try. So, filling up my second bottle here, and I've decided since, even though I'm not going to be decorating for fall, I don't think, I'm going to do, call this fall cleaning, I guess. So, that's what I'm going to do, and fill this up. Oh, the light just seemed to disappear outside. Whew. I definitely still am getting tired in like the early afternoon. It's about 2 o'clock right now and I've been feeling great and energetic all morning and then all of a sudden like around 1 2 o'clock I just feel tired again. I'm hoping to push past it today and actually finish getting some project done around here and I'll bring you guys along with me. Okay, so my ankle's been kind of hurting again. Um, 
I entered it a few days ago when I started chasing the kids running on a trail and I hurt my foot. Silly me, trying to run. <laughs> um, thought I would sit down and drink some coffee here and I'm hoping to maybe finish the book, the Made to Crave book that I've been reading. I've been kind of reading it slow on purpose so that I can really absorb what I'm reading and not like forget the stuff that I'm reading. The pumpkin spice is good. So I have like um, maybe two or three chapters left. I don't know. This is chapter 18. Uh, oh, I guess those are like the last two chapters. And then some like extra notes and whatnot. So cool. But I have really been enjoying this book. It's been really helpful for me. Um, really good reminders and stuff, and helping me change my mindset about healthy eating and my relationship with Jesus, and how that relates to food and what I eat, take care of my body. <sighs> so after I finish this, I'm going to start the devotional. So I could probably finish reading this right now and then tomorrow I'll start the devotional that goes along with this book. And I'm excited for that. So. Okay, so it's been about an hour and I finally just finished this book, the last two chapters. Um, boy, I gotta say like every chapter I read was just as good if not better than the one before it. But I feel like a lot of self-help books like this um, tend to kind of like make their point or and then like the rest of the book just isn't as good if that makes sense. Like they're just kind of reiterating the same stuff over and over again or they won't make their point right away and then it's just like it's really hard to get to that point I guess. Um, with it, Book. I swear like every single chapter just has a little bit nuggets of wisdom throughout. It was very easy to read and to follow and just it was just really good. I'm I'm very happy with it. Um so I highly recommend this book now that I've finished it. Um so I'll leave it linked down below and I kinda wanna do I've been thinking about maybe doing books. I think I talked about this on my back vlog, I don't know. I always forget what I talk about on my videos sometimes but I did I, I think I did I talked about wanting to do like book reviews um or like what I'm reading or what I want to read next kind of videos now here and there so if that would be interesting to you let me know because I know it's hard to find really good solid Christian books that are actually helpful or finding like fictional books that are not too worldly or are from Christian authors that are good you know i think that probably one of the hardest things is to find fiction books that are not just filthy I guess so that's what I think I would like to start doing more often is sharing more books because I do really enjoy reading and it would give me a reason to read even more so yeah if you're interested in that I'd love it if you comment and let me know if you are a book person and you like to read books so Okay you guys, so it's a little bit later in the day, I wanted to wrap up this vlog. So about my water, I realized I didn't talk about that. I did end up only drinking two of my cups, so about 80 ounces of water, which isn't bad. Actually, it's a little bit over the recommended amount of water a day. I felt very satisfied <laughs> with water, so I'm not really the type of person to like push myself to drink more water if I feel like I don't need more water at that point because your body knows what it needs and I felt like I had enough water today so I wanted to say that and yeah I'm obviously very tired right now because it's like 9 30 and I need to get in bed because I need to go wash my face and then get in bed but so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here and we'll see you guys next time bye